Hi, it's Deanna from Futures Pass, and uh, this is uh, an additional video to the previous one I just filmed about uh, a new hobby I got interested in, and it's called shadow boxing. And it's uh, what I do is I take antique objects and I put them in shadow box frames, and uh, I can hang this stuff on the wall and display my collection and keep it protected at the same time. So uh, in the previous video, I was explaining to you how I went into one of those craft stores and I got really lucky because they had just put out clearance and they put these beautiful wooden uh, and glass shadow boxes with uh, velvet panels inside on clearance for $5 a piece. And I grabbed 10 of them and some lady started yelling and screaming and arguing with me. I got there before she did apparently and she didn't like it. And she said, that's not fair. You're buying them all up. And I gave her one. So I ended up with nine of these. And uh, all right, fine. You might think I'm being greedy, but hey, uh, the early bird gets the worm. So, yep, so I grabbed, I was able to get nine. I was kind enough to give that stupid, nasty, snotty lady one. Oh, well, too bad for her. And so uh, in this one, I put an antique uh, Victorian crocodile, I mean, alligator purse. In, and then I put another uh, antique Victorian crochet purse. It's like a little coin purse. And I put a um, Victorian morning watch fob chain. It's actually hair from a deceased person. I um, have another one here. And then this one is called Jet. It's a Whitby Jet Beads. It's another pocket watch uh, chain. And it's from like 1870, 1860s. Sorry, the filming is so bad. It's very hard to film anything with um, glass. And in here I put old Victorian coin purses. I put a mother of pearl one in here. I put a miser bag that's made out of uh, knit material with beads. I put a very old uh, silver coin purse. A crochet one and a wire work velvet purse from the Victorian era. It's salation wire. And yeah, so now I'm into this new hobby. I got the uh, pins from Amazon for really cheap. So these little heavy duty um, steel pins that hold the stuff onto the velvet panel. As you can see, I found pretty ones with pearls and rhinestones. Um, it's quite pretty. I got it for under like $7 and I got like a hundred in each package. Then I found these little very uh, thick steel uh, pins on Amazon as well, another six or $7. And they don't bend, which is great. They're like that thick. They're almost like dissection pins. I don't know what you call them, but they're uh, heavy duty. And yeah, so I thought I'd share this. And uh, so I have, uh, oh my goodness, I have like seven more of these to make. because so I did another one as well. I'll probably show you soon. And uh, yeah, so if you ever get a chance, try to hit one of those like Michaels or Hobby Lobbies and grab as many of these as you can. If you see them for five or ten dollars a piece, because these go for Anyways, between, um, if it's on sale, $25 to $40 to $50 a piece. And uh, I scored big that day. And too bad for that other nasty lady. So uh, thanks for watching my video and have a great day. Bye for now.